I've decided to do a little bit of a night vlog. This would actually be a, a test, shall we say, for the uh, setup I have for my microphone. It's like this 15 or 20 pound pair of earphones I got from Amazon. I, I bought them because I have wireless Bluetooth earphones that I use for my GPS, but they're very uncomfortable when I'm wearing my helmet. So I decided I'll just buy some wired earphones. There should be a smaller size rather than the uh, the big bulky Bluetooth headphones that I use. And it works perfectly. In fact, it actually blocks a bit of the wind noise, which is a plus because I use silicone earplugs whenever I ride. Mostly when I'm traveling, you know, a national speed limit roads. So, I mean, right now, if I'm just riding in town, maybe I wouldn't really wear the earplugs. So, uh, what inspired me about this ride tonight, as well as testing the microphone, is I was asked by my friend to, to buy him some Coca-Cola, like two bottles from Tesco. And I decided, sure, if I can ride your bike. And he said, okay, cool, yeah, I can do that. And he has a CBR500R. And when I rode it to Tesco, I was quite amazed. Compared to my SV650, it felt so much more flickable. And also, the seating position is quite nice. Very, very comfy. I don't know what it is. I think it's the handlebars, compared to the SV anyway. Like, you know, it's a bit lower down on a CBR, but I think the legs are also less scrunched up compared to mine. And that just makes it a good position. The seat is a lot flatter compared to the SV. I'm gonna have to go. It's not gonna turn green, is it? Oh, it did. Wow! I am amazed. They no, never usually turn for me. Anyway, the, uh, the actual seat is a bit wider and flatter compared to the SV650, which meant it was comfier. So, that gave me the idea of taking my current SV650 seat to an upholsterer, make it as similar as I can to the uh, CBR's seat. So that was quite nice. Also, if I ever get the chance, I'm gonna have to try and change the handlebars on the SV to be like the Honda's. I mean, there's some clip-ons I can probably get. There's gills tooling. Uh, handlebars, which I like to try and use. The thing is, you don't know what you're missing if you've never experienced it before. Now, I've ridden his bike a couple of times already, but I don't ride it enough. So I get used to this bike, and now, now that I know what it actually felt like, it kind of makes you appreciate your bike, and it also makes you appreciate the bike that he has for what it's for. No, it's an A2 licensed bike for those of us who live in the UK. That's a very strange truck, it's open. Huh. Suspicious. Anyway, I'm not riding very fast right now because I'm trying to talk. Yeah. Even though the CBR is super flicky, this one can contend with it just about. But I think it's more of the uh, position of the handlebars that makes that bike so much easier to flick. This one is a bit slightly more upright, but it's kind of weird. When I was talking about how comfortable the CBR was compared to this one, the seat on the CBR, yeah, flat and wide. This one is, it goes kind of like that, narrow, and oh, there's also a curve on your butt. Well, on the back, on the most rear part of the seat. It's apparently meant to make it feel sportier, but no, not for me, not for my butt. Uh, <laughs> I missed second, that's awkward. Uh, listen to that. low growl is amazing. I 
I think the, the handlebars on the CVR can turn much more than the SVs, I think. I'll have to try and compare it. Let's try it here now then. That's, the, yeah. Okay, I've just done full lock on this bike and compared to the CBR500 that, that is easier to lock the handlebars compared to the SV so I think that's one of the factors that makes the CBR more flickable than this one I might have to try and change the handlebars on this to mimic the same effect anyway that is my night vlog and I will conclude it here thank you for watching see you later I love it when it goes like that